Hi everyone, Mike Nelson here from the Satellite of Love. As is often the case, we've been sucked through a wormhole and now we're sort of drifting through time and sp I don't know, it's a bunch of... Hey, do you have to do that right now? Yes. <laughs> okay, well then, two things. Could you tell me what you're doing and why you're dressed like the guy in the Primo beer label? If you must know, Mike, I'm practicing the traditional tantric chant of the Gyuto monks of Tibet. With proper intonation, I can harmonize my overtones with the fundamental, creating a chorus of transcendent music of pure bliss. Five bucks says you can. You're on. Okay. Well, Servo fails here. I'll just tell you that we seem to be hovering over ancient Rome or something, and now we're... Hey. Well, listen to that. I, I think you're on to something there. Hey, pretty doggone transcendent, eh, Mike? Well, namaste, buddy. I'm going to grab me a sports shake. We'll be right back. Shanti, <laughs> look, a huge distracting thing. Woo. What's up with you, Mother of Pearl? Oh, hi, Mike. Let me bring you up to speed. Brain guy, can you roll that clip? Oh, certainly. I have it queued up with my mind. <laughs> Welcome to Roman time. Guards, seize them. <laughs> There you have it, and that was just a few seconds ago. I so. said, seize them! Uh, I, um, uh, bid the guards leave for the day. What? Why? I didn't think we'd need them with the festival and well, all. Well, then seize them yourself! <laughs> right! <laughs> oh, wait, 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 wait! We're gods! Yes, gods. Yes. Gods? Yes, I am a Perlo. A Perlo, And right. he is... Brain Gaius. Brain Gaius, right. Gods. Imaginative. Among us. <laughs> they are not gods. Where is your proof? You want to handle this, Bleachy? Not a problem. Hold the old bean. Behold, from nothing, I produce this <gasps> spoon. No, something bigger. Behold, from nothing, I produce this Bigger spoon. No, something big, something impressive. Uh, like what? Oh, I don't know, like a freezer or something. Oh, they wouldn't know what it is. How about a JVC okay, turntable, an elephant? Or... Mike, what can we conjure for these Egyptian guys? Okay, what about a pony? Uh, I think a gas grill would do it. Or a pony. A pony. pony. Yeah. We're going to oh, say pony. 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 Yeah, you can make a nice Shetland, I think. Maybe a to whom do you speak? Oh, that's just Mike and his idiot robe. Your gods, his idiot gods. Yeah. You communicate with the gods and the stars? Oh, yeah, yeah you, you don't? don't? I mean, of course. Yeah, I, I know of this average-looking man-god, but what if the average. golden spider duck and the squat crimson pig? <laughs> golden spider duck? Hey, lady, try a proud prancing reindeer or rotting stag or something. Jeez. Oh, Mike, she calls you a crimson pig. <laughs> hey, wait a minute. She thinks I'm average looking. Dear boy. Truly, they are gods, and we must prepare a feast for these gods. Our finest grappa. Hey, don't skimp. I'll have a red Cena and a Collins glass. <laughs> Your movie today, Mike, is a little toxic spill called Horror of Party Beach. Hey! You guys got any anti-pesto around here or something? A Perlo's gonna starve to death here. Gods, so weak. Golden spider duck. How about lean and virile bull or our slender love machine, Let's lady? Go. Come on, we got a movie, son. Let's go! Ah. Typewriter was drunk when it did that, huh? Yeah, horror. Yeah, the horror at Party Beach is Cindy's cheese dip. Oh, another Afrikaner beach movie. You can't beat him. <laughs> nope. 
Oh, must have edited the crap out of this thing. New driving, a new fad among the teens. Oh, turn gray. Sturgis, a city on the move. Oh, and now it's white again. Yeah. Will he shift? Will the wheel move? Is it Jacques Brel coming up behind him on the bike? Um, we're just running to the Tom Thumb, honey. Do we really need the honor guard? This man does not wear a watch. Hey, I'm nude. Yeah. Original soundtrack not available. He'll thank us. <laughs> so what is additional dialogue? Hmm. Oh, things like, hey, you, and get off that, and why not? <laughs> Dialogue. Yeah, those are dog miles. It's not that fast. The landscape the median strip pretty nice now. <laughs> Horror at public beach. Crappy movie parking here. <laughs> I love chugging Quantro on the beach. Good lay off the boost here. You've had enough. Today, Tino and alcohol are going to have a great cocktail. My plastic hair is furious. Who's it all you want, but you better lay off me. You better stand on your feet, because if you fall on your face, I'm not going to pick you up. You understand? When did you ever have to carry me home? I've always been able to stand on my own two feet. I never needed you. And I never will. They wrote their own vows. Oh. Hey, what happened to the Campus Big Shot who do anything for kids? Campus Big Shot's growing up. Times have changed, Tina. We're not a bunch of kids anymore. <laughs> you can do all the partying you want. You just better stay out of my way. Stop preaching. I know about your plans. Your experiments in that laboratory. Well, let me tell you something. I have a few experiments of my own I'm just itching to try. Mm. And they don't have one thing to do with test tubes and Bunsen burners. Okay, Tina, if that's what you want. <laughs> Ooh, did you jiff? Oh, Hank, what's happening to us? My little hardware, Hank. So what are you going to get it through your head that life isn't just all fun and games? <laughs> okay, okay, no more lectures. Yeah. We're not even talking the same language anymore. I speak Esperanto these days. All right, if that's the way you want it, then you just go on your way. And I'll go mine. We'll see who gets the most out of life. Oh, brother, you ain't seen live until you've seen Tina swim. Well, I'm gonna live too. Fear of intimacy, exciting and new. <laughs> Sail away! <laughs> Bando Ballet goes on a fishing trip. Oh, it's an Exxon training film. <laughs> Shouldn't we dump this in a poor black neighborhood or an Indian reservation? I hope that's Paula Cole in there. Wow, it's really booking to the bottom. Go immediately. <laughs> really? I'm sure we don't do this kind of thing these days, huh? 200 million flushes. Oh, like this is gonna hurt the precious ocean. <laughs> oh, shit. You know, you know, come to think of it, the ocean really sucks. Ave Maria! <laughs> Just another day at Love Canal. He died gargling. Is that something like right in the back of my tooth? Wait, can you see that? Uh, Great, I'm dead and I'm breaking out. I told him not to pick at it. Hi. On behalf of Fish Everywhere, I hope you're enjoying the picture. <laughs> He's turning into Oliver Reed's liver. Oh, 
great. What am I now? A fried wonton? Well. Okay, movie. We get it. We get it. Fuck fish. There's a whole ocean. If you could swim somewhere else while I'm transmogrifying. Sure, most radiation is harmful eventually, but ours does massive damage in a matter of seconds. Ooh, I bet you that would be good with drawn butter. Of course, I'd eat my own head with drawn butter. <laughs> you, know? you know, I've seen so much horror at Party Beach, I'm just inured to it at this point. The monster immediately gets up and puts on his metal machine music. <laughs> Hey, it's a John Hurt mask. The incredible, horrible Mr. Limpet. Yeah, all this talk about swimming with the sharks. Well, I do it every day, pal. And your radiation-based makeover is complete. And we're looking at what? <laughs> is there anyone who likes pickles as much as I do? <laughs> Bing sleeps with the fishes. Original soundtrack by Nigel Tufnell. And the monster's immediately pinned down by a log. You fish go on ahead. You mustn't risk your life for me. Well, I know how it is, though. First thing in the morning, I like to move a big log, too. All right, men, raise the mainsail and... Oh my God, what's happened to me? The monster stars in the one-man version of Pirates of Penzance. Whoa! Men should not have bikini areas. Tops Holland's in the middle there. Hey, that reminds me. Did I bring my hot dog buns? That's a female buttocks, Gary. I don't see the connection. And children, grandmas, everyone loves to watch Susie's Butts. It's the Susie's Butt Festival. Ow, ow, dancing hurts. Ow. Hey, in the back there, Drew Carey. Save your money, guys. The band bites. All right, men. Park a respectful distance away. Impressive row of porto potties in the back there. The Velvet Underground hadn't really found its edge yet. How's it going, Carr? Well, into the you store it, men. Hey, why is that girl topless? Oh, no, that's a guy. Well, wait a minute, is it? I... Jean Paul Sartre's motorcycle gang. I believe in the existential outlaw as hero. That is why I travel with these men. White people attempting rhythm. <laughs> and it made sense to surrender. The Germans were very, very mean. Ah, go to Vietnam. <laughs> Johnny Mathis and the Conan O'Briens. Hey, don't bogey that Metrical, man. Hi, director. Hi, best boy. I think she likes us. She could use a few inhibitions. It would do it good. She's blinding him with the glare from her midriff. Ah, it's the belly of the great white girl. It's a gang led by Deepak Chopra. Hey, zipper butt. Easy access, freshness dated. We lip sync real bad. It's true, we suck. 
there are girls here, and that's upsetting us. <laughs> Oh, goodbye, friendly Bye. thin men. Bye. Bye. I think she's overcoming her shyness. <laughs> mm, Dondi is quite the stud. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, those hot Polish immigrant girls. <laughs> Johnny, I never let anyone kiss me like this before. My name's not Johnny. What is it? Irving. Irving? <laughs> What's in the name? Fanny Bryson, Scott Hamilton, make out. <sighs> oh no, it's the silky children. They're attacking. Man takes his first tentative steps out of the water. Hey, guys, look up there. It's the rock. <laughs> oh, a creature whose face is 80% eye bag. <laughs> so radiation has a sense of humor. Hey. I don't hit. Lame. Kind of shook me up there. You, uh... Always go around sneaking up on people? Yep, love it. Well, I saw you just staring out at the ocean, so I thought I'd come down and talk to you. Hey, everybody, yeah! <laughs> he is doing something we did not rehearse, <laughs> and it is funny. <laughs> come on, Aunt Agnes, you've had enough. Let's go home. Pick the nose and chew it, chew it, chew oh, it. Thinks quite a bit of you, you know. Thinks you have a great future. As a white man. Working with Dr. Gavin has been just about the greatest thing that's ever happened to me, Elaine. I'm happy. But I still have this problem with... Bed wedding. Tina. It's always on my mind. Oh, I'm sure Tina will come around to your way of thinking. She's bound to realize what she has in you, Hank. Um, Hank. Or maybe she won't realize, has she? Well, we'll see. Oh, Darn! No, oh. I think there's a tiny string of sinew on you we haven't seen yet. Music by the My Three Sons. Yeah. Look at me, I am so Twyla Tharp. <laughs> I'm sure there's some perfectly nice tiger sharks just offshore who'd be willing to eat these people. Ah. Oh. Oh. oh, she pulls a groin muscle. Swing your partner, do -si do now promenade. You know, I think what they're really trying to say is, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, but you're missing the underlying message, which is wiggle, wiggle, wobble, wobble. Do the Bruce Springsteen. Anyway. Hey, what's going on up there? It's called fun. I don't know. Let's go see. Hey, no cutting in, rerun. Come on, right here, in front of everyone. Come on, let's do it. Yeah, we'd rather see Rosemary and Maury Amsterdam do the Lombardo. <laughs> Little kids adore the lovable town stripper. <laughs> I, I can't get this. It's I can't it's stuck. I can't get this button off. The... James Franciscus is not pleased. What are you doing? What do you think I'm doing? I am shaking what my mother gave me. Thank you very much. How can I star on Long Street if I have a girlfriend like you? Oh. She doesn't want to go with you. Look, I don't think that's any of your business. Chances are that I'll kick your scrawny ass. <laughs> Bernardo, no. Oh, I just had radial keratotomy today. Daddy, give me an airplane ride. Wee, ow, oh, another. <laughs> Let's follow the couple. Yes, let's go where they're going. Yeah. You soiled my cigarette pants, Buster. 
So basically, this crowd of people will stand around to watch anything. <laughs> hey, I don't think this is a good idea, guys. Let's let's think about this. No, 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 no. Oh, no, my neck is broken. <laughs> I don't know. It just seems to me Lily and Gish could take this game. Hang on, let me toss a gay man at you. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Batchman. I'm Marissa Tomei, and I'm concerned. I'm Joan Kennedy, and I'm concerned. Yeah. This is not in keeping with the spirit of Pride Week. All right, back off, or my gang will ram me into your stomach again. Meanwhile, some sea turtles are trying to get by to lay their eggs. <laughs> Fight Direction by William Shatner. Uh, uh. I think this is ready to pop. Let's. Uh. William Bendix to the rescue. You have defeated me, sir. You and your noble band of choreographers. Hank, I. I want my pants I back. I think that we should. So, do you want me to keep taking my shirt off, or is that moment kind of uh, over? Come on, Mike. Come on, Mike. Let's get up. Oh, now, what are we going to do? Yeah, what are we going to watch now? We're not ready to go home yet. Well, I'm going to strip for someone. Ow, 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 jiggers. Ow, stand top, too. Ow. You can't get this beer open. <laughs> he uses the Art Garfunkel hair care system. She swims like Louis Tiam. <laughs> She's actually going backwards. Mark Harmon on drums. My skull! <laughs> <laughs> Lower the camera! Lower the camera! I had a generally positive impression of white people before this movie. I'm starting to agree with the Taliban militia. Dancing should not be allowed. Leopard skin pillbox bra. Bikini and a babushka, that's a nice thing. Miss, could you clear the shot, please? Oh, Miss! Right in my. Six miles out, and I still hear that awful music. Cool, it's the Rosetta Stone. Wow, Europe is smaller than I thought. A sexy Romulan girl. I can't touch you, you're a lady! Oh, doing the going mental dance. <laughs> Say, Mike, you're ready for our manly beach dance? Manly beach dance time, Mike. <laughs> uh, yeah, well, these trunks you made me seem kind of small. Oh, I'm sure they're fine. Yeah. No, they seem really small. Hold on, let me show you. I'll just come okay. out here. Just get comfortable with your body. Whoa, 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 well, 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 then. Hey, what do you think? These, these are kind of small, right? Mike, you're nude. All nude, yep. No, no, I got them on. I just think they're really small, especially when I dance. Oh, oh, no, Mike, no, 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 Mike, Mike, no, no, Mike, no, Mike, no, Mike, no. Mike, Mike, are you sure you put them on? No, they're on. They're just, He's so they're nude. Really... It's just... The tags and back and everything? Oh, that's probably it. Hold on, let me look. Hey. Oh, oh, yes. oh. Oh, yep, they're the tags in back, but I don't know. Maybe it's the dance. No, 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 no. no, 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 why, no why, why don't no. you just go a size up? We've got some right here. Yeah. Oh, okay. Let me try these on. Maybe that's the problem. <laughs> that's nice. Yeah, I think those are going to be better. Those are going to be better. Go, go. Do they think the dancing, though? Go, 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 go a size up, Mike. Yes, we'll all feel a lot more comfortable, Mike. <laughs> okay, well, I'll slip into these and I'll show you these. And maybe. we'll be able to keep down our lunch. Good guess. Take it easy, Crow. We'll be right back, everybody. Part of me, he'll never be back. <laughs> Part of me is gone forever. See what the problem is. I, I, I fit rather well. Lloyd Bridges has not aged well. Band writes really long songs. Go, Romulan babe. 
Could you guys make a loop of this and show it for about 30 hours? Is that a diaper? <laughs> it's fun to have fun. <laughs> I don't care what they say. I feel good about myself. And all the flesh slipped off my skull. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Scott Scrawny and the Hard Gainers. I'm wearing pull-ups, Mommy. <laughs> All hail to Ra, the sun god. Mike, are we being punished for something? Sniper! Well, say what you want about her. At least she's not doing the zombie stone. Oh, hi, Grandma. Uh, Ma'am, I'd like to report some illegal waste dumping. Are you a federal agency by any chance? That's it. I'm going to make some big changes this year. After all, I've got a long, full life ahead of me. <laughs> <laughs> it's fun to get a tiny portion of my hair wet. I'm on a rock. <laughs> I'm on an island. <laughs> Cookie. Get your hot dogs. Uh, relax, ma'am. I'm a licensed doctor of chiropractic. Do you think a lot of guys who make movies have issues with women? Could be. Swimsuit by the Mike Douglas Show. Do you believe that kissing is unhealthy? I don't know. I've never been... You've never been kissed? No, I've never been sick. But I just wanted to tell you, I was recently diagnosed as having... No, oh, never mind. Well, I better get my laps in. You know, monsters can dog paddle at a horrifying rate. <laughs> Offshore, the Normandy invasion force waits patiently. It's amazing they can get such rich sound without plugging in their instruments. Isn't there a union rule that says they have to take a break? <laughs> Nair side, foam side. <laughs> Nair side. If he's thin, has a brew. I want my Peter Allen albums back. Hiya, Charlie. Do you like bathing beauty? No, yeah. No, I never bathed one. <laughs> It's Chris Farley in a thong. <laughs> Look out, Ted Kennedy's driving home. Mm, Grandpa lost his suit in the water again. Oh, someone went in the ocean. I hope that's a Clark bar. Boy, that siren got us through some pretty rough traffic. Thanks for coming out to help me. My pipe's stuck in my mouth. <laughs> Hi, do you have any spare pork? We're hungry. Morning. Morning. Nice morning. No, it isn't. Looks like a clear day. No, it doesn't. I was just looking at that little cloud up there by the sun and thinking it might rain. I guess everybody interprets the world according to his own mood. <laughs> well, no weather is good for a funeral. In my business, I try to avoid them. Too bad he's an undertaker. Elaine, it's 9.30. Mother Angelica is on. I guess she'd be abnormal if she were on time. How's she taking it? Not easy for any of us. A lot of families have been affected by this. Helped her to know she's not alone. Hmm. Here's the sample that you asked for. Could you have put it in something? I'm going to run some carbon-14 tests on this tissue. There have been some recent discoveries in the field of genetics that may give us a clue to its structure. Mm -hmm. Good luck, Doc. Thanks. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> this is going straight up my nose. <laughs> well, hit the siren. Shaky's lunch buffet awaits. We had to get a door from a junkyard. <laughs> oh, you're ready. Why is the car in the living room? You do understand why I'm not going, don't you, dear? Of course, Daddy. Everybody knows how hard you've been working. You gonna pick up Hank on the way? Why am I dubbed? <laughs> Daddy, I'm so upset about Hank. Hardware, Hank? Here I am going to Tina's funeral, and I have such feelings about him. What kind of feelings? I don't know. Lay off. 
Is it because he's free now? You don't have to work you over. Yes. I suppose so. You go ahead, dear. I'll, I'll just smell your forehead goodbye. The car has like 12 cigarette lighters. It's a human thing, Dr. Gavin. You wouldn't understand. It's a human evil thing lurking and creeping and crawling around out there in the night. I know it. I feel it. Mother, please. You mustn't talk like that. A great deal of the ocean is still a mystery to us. There are undoubtedly forms of life that we know nothing about. Like me. It's the voodoo. That's what it is. Now, that's ridiculous, Eula Bell. I want you to get this idea of voodoo out of your head. Try snake handling instead. I have no doubt we'll find a perfectly reasonable explanation for the girl's death. Like giant squirrels. Maybe you're right. But the police have been looking and they haven't found anything. They've been running around here like headless chickens. And you've been looking and reading and what have you found? Nothing is solved in a few hours. This will require a lot of research. And while you are researching, there's something creeping and crawling and lurking around out there? That's enough. You're scaring me. I understand. I have my things packed by the morning. It's a voodoo, that's what it is. Ah, oh, you non-Caucasians. You'd better go to bed, Eula Bell. But I just got up. Did you lock up? Lock, double lock, and triple lock. Ain't no monsters gonna get in here tonight. Uh, why did I fire Hazel? All right. All right, I'll strangle a chicken if it make you happy. Let's see here. How to kill that spark of life. Chapter one, joy, who needs it? No, maybe. Ah, here we are, getting girls through hypnosis. Yes, yes, yes. Oh. Hi, Daddy. Oh, hey. dear. You betrayed me, Fredo. I thought you were going out tonight. Oh, I was, but it's just another slumber party. They're all the same, so I'm not really missing anything. Did you let him know you weren't coming? No. Don't you think you should? Oh, Daddy, I just don't see how you can even think of such a thing after what happened to Tina. Roast in hell, Dad. <laughs> Tina's death has affected a great many people, but it doesn't give you or anyone else the right to be discourteous. Oh, ram it, bozo. Oh, all right. I'll go telephone. Oh. Well, let's start mopping the ceiling. <laughs> That's not how you make sun tea. Okay. I'm happy I was invited. <laughs> Battle stations! Oh, Listen up! Oh, Battle stations. torpedoes! It's for Libby. Libby, it's for Libby. Libby. I think they just filmed an actual slumber party. Yeah, bummer. The actual summit of K2? Why? Oh, well, then you're going to miss all the fun. Oh, Elaine, we've got secret information that the boys from the Kai Sai House are going to crash. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We've got a big bus yeah. rigged up over the door. Enigma machine. I can't wait to see Ricky Aldridge as he comes to the door and gets it spilled on him. Uh. Oh, Elaine, please come. It'll be so much fun. Well, Elaine, you don't have to call me a bitch. Well, okay. All right. I understand. Goodbye. Goodbye, Libby. <laughs> I don't like slumber parties now that I'm in my 40s. I'm glad I called, Daddy. It was the right thing to do. Oh, that is the portion of all womankind. Uh, this better be a strip, folks. On. <laughs> Stop it! They've only been together a couple of hours, but they're all already on the same cycle. <laughs> Never invite Janice E. into your slumber party. I sit in, I brought my baritone horn. Hmm. I forgot my 90. They're a cute couple. Yeah. Suddenly I feel like gossiping and eating popcorn all night. You. <laughs> so they put the second sex to music. There's no reason to leave C, I find. Do not use poison ivy for toilet paper, believe me. We are trying to spawn. <laughs> <laughs> the Ipswich Women's Club presents Shirley Jackson's The Lottery. 
Come on. I think we're gonna get killed. Neat. <laughs> what are they doing? I smell something awful. It smells like dead fish. Right. Oh, I hope they don't throw fish again. Like they did last year. Shh. Quiet, girls. Concentrate on sticking your fannies out. Everybody keep quiet. I'll turn off the Oh, hi. Where are the lobsters you selected? True to her word, she turns off the light. Wow, wow, man. Huh. Two of them. Hi, Jehovah's Monsters. Please take a watch, monster. Okay, boys. The door's <laughs> open. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> you gals got something planned, don't you? <laughs> Carnival of Coeds. <laughs> oh, monster in the floor! Monster in the floor! <laughs> don't even know what panties are, yet they feel compelled to raid. Every male of any species has the biological urge to panty raid. Oh, great party, Janice. Thanks. I really wanted to be dead. I, I, I forgot my train case. Huh. I'm heavy, right? Sorry, I pigged out on haagen -Dazs. There's more chips if anyone wants them, though. Rumors of an invasion from the sea took this? on a new dimension last night when over 20 teenage girls were brutally attacked and murdered during a slumber party. Ah, great, the kids should love this. The survivor described these monsters differently. <laughs> from those which terrorized the beach only a few days ago. Terrorized. But Dr. Gavin, special consultant for the police, <laughs> suggested that these beings probably have different forms. Beans? In the same beans. way that human beings vary in beans. size and shape. And pants. Meanwhile, specialists from all over the United States converged on Archie our city Rice. in an attempt to piece together the scattered reports of attacks Archibald in Cox. a massive effort to find out the identity of these strange creatures from the sea. Extra, extra, read old about it. 50s extended indefinitely. Extra, extra, read all about it. Oh my goodness, is Abby running Please God, I'm only 17 again? This scene alone is better than the whole movie Newsies. Thank you. Thank you. But not you. But not you. President orders monsters back to work are considered smelly and dangerous. Listen, we better skip this town. This is the place where they're having all the trouble. Cops? No, murders by the hundreds. Some kind of monsters killing people and drinking their blood. Oh. Ooh, it gives me the creeps. Imagine being that thirsty. <laughs> Oh, very funny, Miss Ghoul. <laughs> I read all about it in the papers. This town's too hot for my blood. Are you a gecko? Well, you know what I mean. Listen, girls, I need some gas. We better stop and we'll get some directions, too. City service is sitco now. Zoom, 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 zoom. Sitco zoom. It's too much TV. Yeah. Big hunk of inbred love. Yes, ma'am. Can I help you? He's cute, isn't he? No. No. Fill me up, huh? Sure. Yes! An entire tank of gas! Score! <laughs> well, go away! Can you tell these are support hoes? Thoughts of sex distracted me, and now I'll have to immolate myself to subdue the buzzing in my head. Oh, well, that's great, but come along. <laughs> so I said to Jupiter, you know that Saturn, he's a different kind of god. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, it's a different kind of god. <laughs> oh, more wine? Yes. <laughs> that's good, good. It's from Gaul, you know. <laughs> you might say it's from... Conquered grapes! Oh, <laughs> open a window. <laughs> we invented the pun, you know. Is that right? Goddess of Perlo, mm. um, from what uh, part of the Empyrean do you dwell, generally? Uh, 
The suburbs. Oh. Ah, I believe Pliny speaks of the suburbs yes. of the garden. And what are your godly gifts? Earthquake, fire from the sky, music. Yes, perhaps. music. Oh, music. music. Yes. Well, then, music. do, do favor us with a song, liar. What did you just call me? Oh. <laughs> 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 of course. Of course. Um, Brain, Gaius, yeah. yes, why don't you take the yeah, auto harp right. here, and I will take the uh, gourd with the stick. Help me, I can't play a lick. Shh, just smile and play along. I'll save you bacon again. <laughs> All right, then, what shall we start with today? Maybe a bit of bitter dregs? Huh? Sure. <laughs> ah, we'll just jam and see what happens. Oh, OK, then. <laughs> Okay, then. Here we go. We're going. By Jove! <laughs> Truly, this is the music of the gods. <laughs> Wahoo! <laughs> Come, let us dance. No, Calipagius. Beloved, it's the gods. Who <laughs> down! For spicy beef salad in Pompeii, sizzling beef popsicles in Ipernia, rich kettle of beef stew in Gaul, it's rich beef chateaubriand. Dummy gods, join us! <laughs> beef, it's what for movie sign? Oh, we got movie sign! about all these murders you've been having around here. Oh, yeah, it's a big deal. That they got a big investigation going on. Uh, they got guys coming up here from Washington and everything. Hey, we better get out of here, girls. You aren't kidding. Hey, handsome, what's the fastest way to get to New York? Rocket car. Well, I guess the best way is to um, go down here to Wire Mill Road, uh, and you turn left and uh, go two blocks over, and... Uh, You're in Manhattan. Then you turn right, and you go past the quarry, and... Uh, You'll uh, see the throughway right on the other side. You can't miss it. Thanks. How much do I owe you? That's uh, $4, please. And a peek at your bra. Mm. Thanks, honey. You're welcome. You want your Dick Butkus collectible mug? Okay, so if uh, you girls ever want to make good on your innuendo, please feel free to stop by. But I'm driving. You want to crack us up? Take a ride on Monster Killing Girls Road. Hello, New Yorker bus. Oh, yeah. You just fast forward to the death. Wow, Herald Square. This is a road. <laughs> you know what that tire's favorite opera is? Deflate a mouse. <laughs> Wait. Oh. Great, a flat tire. Right in the middle of rush hour. Extra footage supplied by Zapruder. Now what do we do? Well, this is New York. We should be able to hail a cab. I hope we see Woody Allen while we're here in New York. I think we need to rebuild the engine. I just saw rent. <laughs> hey, where you been? Flo needs help with the wheel. Down by that quarry. Something must have died in there. It smells like the food and fish market in the middle of July. Hey, I put on a bunch of patchouli oil. I smell just fine. How's it going, hon? Well, I got it off, but I can't see nothing. How about some help? Okay. They're headed to the Laverne de Fazio convention. Hey, hold it, you two. Hmm? What's with you? I heard something. Sounds like the opening percussion to the Olympics theme. Oh, uh, if it ain't money rustling, it ain't worth hearing. Hmm. Hold it, I hear something, too. Well, that monster's pronating badly. like somebody, somebody big walking in mud. Joe Don Baker? <laughs> you two flipped your wigs or something? It's a wiglet. 
So this is the touring company of Come Back to the Five and Dime, Jimmy Dean, Jimmy Dean. <laughs> Hello, monster. Want to exchange innuendos? <laughs> Just those famous Mexican walking catfish. Where's that fishy smell again? Could it be Bait Winkle Man? Now, I'm in my constricting skirt and high heels, so I should be perfect monster bait. Oh, isn't that just like Denise to meet a guy? <laughs> Please stop eating me when I'm a size 8, okay? Oh, they're slightly less attractive than our regular boyfriends. Tonight on Roar. Come on, we'll ditch my girlfriends. Come on. Yeah, that sounds like a solenoid. Pop the hood and we'll take a look at it. Okay, watch the body. Don't watch the head. Yeah, no. Go, all right, I got her. The day the mudskippers fought back. The movie's unflinching look at women from New York is its best feature. <laughs> I can pay my own way into the drive-in now. Ow! 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 Pop the trunk! Pop the <laughs> trunk! Ow! Filmed inside a deacon's hat. And sadly, a gas attendant's dream goes unfulfilled. Next morning at the monster's home... Look at all the toenails. How many toenails? It doesn't even have this many toes. Toenails everywhere. Whew. Move your feet, you load! I've had my share of the misery too, Miss Elaine. And I know what it is. Mm -hmm. Three brothers and two sisters. All dead and gone. But you don't see me going around moaning and groaning all day. <laughs> I have my work, and the Lord has his, and he takes care of us wherever we are. Yawn! <laughs> Why, what's this, Eula Bell? Oh, that's mine. Give it. Oh, so dubbed. It's a voodoo doll, isn't it? Voodoo doll. You really believe in it. Voodoo. Now, don't you go teasing, Miss Elaine. I know a lot more things than I say. Eula Bell, there's no such thing as voodoo. Hey, ask any Haitian. Who is it, anyway? It's my Oscar Gamble doll. One of them zombies. Al Gore? Dr. Gavin was so worried, I thought I could help. She's got Dilbert's boss's hair. <laughs> well, somebody's got to do something. Oh, I'm black. I'll get it. Hello, Mr. Haight. Come Hello, in. Hello, Eula Bell. Just rode in from Richmond. Is that nice young boy just pining to take you out? Take you right out of the picture. <laughs> I quit your moaning and groaning and go out and have some fun. Father didn't need me this afternoon, Elaine. Well, I thought uh, maybe you'd like to go for a drive or something. What do you think, Magic Bear? Oh, I don't know, Hank. Now go on upstairs and change. He'll wait. Just smile at the stupid white people. Look, uh, I don't mind waiting. You go ahead and change. All right. Meanwhile, the monster gang pulled into their safe house in Columbus, Ohio. How'd you like to take a drive down Long Street, huh? Why did you come back to the beach, Hank? I don't know, Elaine. Stuff, I guess. I had a funny feeling about this place. I get it at my aunt's place, too. Come on, let's go. Huh, I wonder where he went. Oh. Oh, she made her dress out of a table runner. Oh, for cute. So who's that bald, pipe-smoking idiot who's always wandering around your house? Oh, I'm sorry, that's your dad. Hey, man, what's happening? How you doing, gang? Pretty dead tonight, huh, Ron? 
Yeah, ever since Tina got killed, like, no action around here. Yeah, well, it'll pick up. That's so wise. Take it easy. All right, here we go. Mbap, dingy 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 da, mbap, ooby beep 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 Ron, what are you gonna play? What'd you like to hear, Elaine? How about mm, Bop. You're not a summer love. Mm, just for you, baby. Mm, hear that? Just for me, huh? Hi. Help! We're cutouts. Uh, first, you deny the grief, then party. Margaret Chase Smith running for Senate. I like your vote. Almost had fun there. Better watch myself. Hey, Mars exploded. You are a summer sausage. And then I almost didn't call about not attending the slumber party. Hey, wait, come back. Okay, go for your gun. Scanners. I'd say something, but the guy who dubs me is on break. You like cheese? I am comprised of a series of ones and zeros. Like a blank tape. Never even cracked the seal. Oh, hardware. Never touched a woman. We make the saints cry. <laughs> or I'll kill you. Oh wait. I say forever that you will be. Yes, the sweeping majesty of young white Republican love. Close to me, like the sand in the sea. Are, are we dead? Hey, enough. Enough touching. That's enough. There must be five car lengths between couples. Take you over to the buffet. They have this German potato salad I want you to see. So, our parents were boring when they were young. I was at the slumber party and I have a lot of survivor. Mm, 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 mm. Ooh, I'll never kiss again. I guess I never have, really. <laughs> Thanks for the free fun yums. Good night, girls. Now you go straight home. My brother's coming to pick us up. Good night now. Good night, Good night Johnny. Johnny. Anytime you close down a drugstore, it's a wild night. <laughs> You're from the Ladies' Volunteer Inventory Taking Guild. <laughs> hey, lady. Lady, would you buy me some beer? I, I, I don't have ID. Look Polish? What? Huh? Look, look at the sign of that. Let's walk. You look Polish. Oh, maybe it's look Polish. Look Polish. Using their Flintstone voices. Anyway, so why are they speaking in tongues? Baby Bob's a prowler. Why you two shut up? It's Steve Allen. Don't get in. Debbie, why don't you sit in back? Uh, okay, I'll front something. Stupid, stupid, stupid. What was I thinking that she'd ever go out with me? <laughs> <laughs> Linda? Oh, if only I wore a size six. I can't see the price. Where's the price? Damn. After the king verdict, monsters looted boutiques. You just take the glove off. Ooh, <laughs> He's got a delicious blue cheese filling. Nick. It's still alive. Yeah. I want to make some notes. Yes, sir. 
This proves it. Worms play pinochle on your snout. <laughs> Monty Hall and Bruno Hopman stopped by. April 10th, 7 p.m. Notes on possible malignant organism. Overall configuration, that of a human arm, severed just below the elbow joint. Muscle tissue seems to be a sea anemone, a species of protozoa. These organs are exactly mm. like human organs, except that they have been replaced by the protozoans. Of course. I'm high. This creature needs the ordinary necessities of human life. Proteins, fats, sugars, and so forth. None for me, thanks. But since his organs are so decomposed that they can neither produce nor retain the oxygen necessary for its survival, it needs the only food which can keep it alive. Oh, you mean me, right. Blood. Human blood. Oh, we got some in the fridge. If a human body, a drowned person, were attacked by tiny sea plants which became parasites and completely infiltrated that human body before it had a chance to decompose, would the body be considered dead or alive? Uh, uh, the beetles. Dead? No, it's still alive. But it's changed into a... Dip of some sort. Well, is it a plant or an animal? Animal. It's both. It's a giant protozoa. Wow. Dr. Gavin. What's the best foot cream? Can they be killed? Or at least spayed? I don't know, Lieutenant. They are the living dead. <laughs> They're zombies. Living dubbed. <laughs> Nothing so dramatic as that, Elaine. They're more like a jellyfish. You can't kill them by shooting them or cutting them up. Well, then how can you kill them? I want to make sure the kids are down. I hear something. He's coming. Look Polish, everyone. The director bravely mixes tedium with unscariness. Mom, can we stay up later? There's something out there. I know there is. All right, now everybody just keep going. Knives. They're all we have. They won't help either. Elaine, over there in that corner. You need a timeout. Lieutenant, when I say lights, turn them on. I'll take care of this one. See, I did it. I didn't need any help. Want to see me do it again? Doctor, will this be an appropriate time to wet them? <gasps> Mother Teresa? Obi-Wan Kenobi? Leon Sphinx? Is the little baby going to cry? So quiet up there in the house. And I get scared by myself all alone at night. Mm -hmm. And them zombies, they coming at me tonight. You, LaBelle. I just know they will. Ah! Opa! You dope. Now go get us another monster arm. <laughs> that is bold barbecue. Woo. Look, it's burning up. Hmm? You look you've killed it. Oh, Dr. Garrett, I'm sorry. I didn't no, mean don't to... Don't be sorry. This is wonderful. You've discovered a way to destroy these creatures. And you're fired. Oh, Lord, <laughs> Lord. Look, completely dehydrated. Neat. Protozoans are almost all water. This is all we have left. Well, there's more in the car, but... But what makes all the smoke and steam, Daddy? Sodium. Plain old sodium. Hank, you remember your chemistry. Sodium is a very unstable metal that reacts violently with water. That's right. Then they can be killed with sodium. No. They can, if we can find them. And the monster search goes way off track. <laughs> Same to you, fella. What about that guy, huh? I just thought all nude was a dress code. This is the reality of Northwest Airlines' mechanical problem. We are unwanted outcasts, orphans of the storm. What storm? The storm of my soul. He likes liquor, is what he means. Yeah. Right. Well, we better get back to the Senate. This is really fun. This is exactly what I wanted to do tonight. 
So are we going to raise the specter of wife swapping? <laughs> Where do we go now? We'll drive. Oh. Are you capable of driving? Of course I'm capable. Are you capable? Of course uh, I am. Uh, Where's the car? That Albert way. Vitti Permitti? <laughs> We can listen to our Foster Brooks books on tape. Can we drink our cars? Well, the intervention did not go off as planned. These are the kind of guys who wake up in pools of various things. It's odd that Mad would invest in this movie. Okay. Very odd. Okay, Joe coming in on runway seven. Joke, you have been cleared for landing and good. Hey, buddy. You got Chrysler on my Chevrolet. You got Chevrolet on my Chrysler. I, I guess we weren't capable. Can the monsters kill these guys three or four times? Some people get giggly when they drink. Other people get hateful and psychotic. <laughs> Who's screaming? Where are the demons? He yells about. Michael Ponto. Let's go over to Michael Irvin's place. <laughs> Ted Kennedy and Bishop John Roach. Hey, what's that sound? <laughs> oh, I'm urinating. <laughs> That's you. It is, no, it's you. I think I hear Oberon. <laughs> Let's hear you walk. Uh, Otis of Mayberry had a quiet dignity compared to these guys. No, it's not you. Now you walk. Now I walk off the screen and into obscurity. That's not you either. Vladimir and Estragon, the sitcom. <laughs> hey, do farts have lumps? <laughs> What's it sound like? It sounds like somebody in, in rubbers filled with water. Oh, you no. wearing rubbers? Me These two are forbidden to even say the word rubber. That's probably, probably somebody came from the swimming pool and came from swimming with their... Boy, the French would love these two guys. <laughs> Genius! That's not so funny. That's probably some old drunk. God, I hate hey, drunk. Hey, yeah. Truck. I'm glad we were able to remain friends after our breakup, Tib. You left your lights on. Must yeah. be Tom Baudet. Well, we better go turn them off. Yeah, save his battery, for heaven's sake. They're AA and AAA. <laughs> hey, Stan, there's a guy in here. And he looks Polish. <laughs> Dead man breathing. Hey, buddy. Can I use your liver? <laughs> what are you doing? You sleeping? <laughs> huh? You think it's funny to sleep, huh? Huh? Oh, buddy. He couldn't get his contact out. The guy without a face got no human traits. The vodka's in the. Uh. I better call him 9 1. Uh, what's the other number? Oompa, loompa, doompa, dee, doo. I've got another riddle for you. Serpentine. <laughs> I love liquor so much. <laughs> <laughs> I care too much about you. I've got to get you to detox. <laughs> Uh-oh, what happens if the monsters are recovering alcoholics? Oh, boy. Because of this recent discovery, the police now feel certain that in a very short time, a method will be found to locate and destroy these frightful monsters. Extra, extra, the birth of a media empire. Rusty Murdoch. Flex time a sticking point in contract. Monsters tease cat. The monsters win the pennant. The monsters win the pennant. The monsters win the pennant. Well, I could just run out and get some sodium, but I'm really beat. <laughs> 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 
Monster in tryst with Cabana Boy. You know what would solve this problem? More highway ramp meters. <laughs> Meanwhile, the police are working around the clock to get little Susie Johnson's bike back. We offer this shot of a guy leaving a building as proof of how hard they're working. Monsters re-killing previous victims. Authorities don't know Shinola from that other stuff. Dr. Gavin, look. It says this letter is gonna need two stamps. So why aren't they using sodium? <laughs> sodium? Sodium. Sodium! Remember? Boom, boom, sodium. Sodium! The water from that arm is radioactive. Dummies. That means the cells themselves are radiated. But how? Um, voodoo, sir? No. The floating pig. The what? what? Oh, the, the floating pig. That's what we call the garbage scow that leaves the harbor every week. You see, it's been dumping waste material from the reactor at the university. Do you know where they dump? Well, there's a loo on the ship, I imagine. See, a friend of mine says he saw them once out at, at Western Island, I believe. Western Island. Western Island. It's over here in the east, right? Here it is. Look at these currents, Hank. If one of those containers sprung a leak, the waste would be drawn right by our shore. And that's where Tina was killed that first night. Western Island is also where that fishing boat went down just a few weeks ago. I've dumped there often. These creatures are human bodies kept alive by radioactive decay. Sodium. So wherever they go, they leave radioactive water. We'll try sodium! All we have to do sodium. is to test the water to know where they've been. Sodium. Right. Then sodium. we can tell where they are. Sodium. At this minute, wherever they are, plot they're point. building up a small and harmless radioactive Stuff residue to burn the monster the water. Our Geiger counters will give S. a scale 15 sodium. reaction to the water. So, so what we have to do is just test all the water in the immediate area. Yeah. And if they're in sodium. one of those lakes, well, we'll get a scale reading from the counter. Sodium. Right? Right. I'll call the sodium. police. We'll organize and get all the people in the countryside to help us. Then all we have to do is find them, and sodium will kill them. All right. There! Yes. Find them. You're right! Say, Dr. Gavin, Dump. we don't know how many there are. We, we might need tons of it. You get on the phone and call every chemical supply company in the area. No, Someone must carry sodium in large to. quantities. I'll call Lieutenant Wells and get this thing started. Now, if we're so clear, we the may movie. stop these monsters before another <laughs> night of killing. Right, Dr. Gavin. <laughs> Yuckstree, read all about it! Hey, what's up, Tom? Well, Mike, I was so impressed by that plucky newsboy in the movie, you know, out there every day during the monster crisis, getting people the information they need to avoid being eaten, and his headlines were always so darn up-to-date! Yeah, that's true. Yeah. So, uh... So, what? What? Why? why? Oh! Oh! See, I've gone into the newspaper <laughs> business. Okay, yeah. exactly. All the pertinent <laughs> news our satellite community needs updated whenever a story breaks. Oh. Hey, you want to buy the latest edition? Sure. <laughs> Yucks tree. <laughs> Ouch. Mike buys paper from Servo. Yeah. That's extremely current, I'd say. Oh, old news already. <laughs> Got to get the next edition out. Yucks tree, yucks tree. Mike buys another <laughs> newspaper from Servo. Oh, that's cute. So it's a new headline every couple yuck seconds. Yucks tree, yucks tree. Mike chuckles at speed of news updates. Yeah, yeah, I guess I did. I mean, that's... Yucks tree, yucks tree. Servo senses Mike's growing impatience with newspaper gag. I think you nailed that story. Yucks tree, yucks tree. Mike getting really annoyed now. Yeah, I'd, I'd say that's true to a certain extent. Yuckstree, yuckstree, I mean, Servo about to divert Mike's attention to make a run for it. I mean, you buy all these papers just Mike, to come in and Mike, look behind you. It's a giraffe with the head of Larry Hagman. What? Where? <laughs> what? Why? Where's the giraffe with the head of Larry Hag? Oh, he, he fooled me. We'll, uh, you know, we'll yuck be... Yuckstree, yuckstree. <laughs> Meat is good. I really like meat. You're right. Vegetables aren't so good, but meat is good. Good afternoon, gentlemen. I have here a list of meats I'd like to read. Now, these are instructions and map coordinates. And meat recipes. You break up into separate teams. Each team is to organize a search in that specific area. Will there be a meat break, sir? There are a limited number of Geiger counters. So share. More are being brought up from New York, so don't worry about it. You'll have them by the end of the afternoon. 
Now, only two of you will actually get to meet McGruff. I want you to find every single body of water in your area. That's my bathtub, sir. And be sure it's tested. You've got to be sure that those things haven't been there. Let's get going. Mikhail, your water's dirty, Mikhail. Stupid lake. This lake is pregnant. His frosted lips are radioactive. Uh, any comment, tadpoles, on the current crisis? They found the monster's caprice wagon. No, sir, I never knew the monster that well, but I'll do what I can to help you. For the budget honeymooner, try Frank's Discount Falls. Let's see, Monster Busters, Monsters Be Gone, Screaming Mad at Monsters. How's it going, Mr. Hank? Oh, it's no use, Shulabelle. Nobody has any sodium. They all get their supply on special order from New York City. Did you try everybody in the telephone book? Yeah, almost, all but a couple. <laughs> well, you try that couple. Yeah. You've got to try, Mr. Hank. Well, go on. All right, Eulabelle, I'll call New York City. They try throwing Campbell's soup? That's got a lot of sodium in it. <laughs> Hello, operator. Would you please get the uh, Manhattan Chemical Supply Company in New York City? You won't? <laughs> That's right. The place without sodium. Hello. Listen, do you carry any sodium? Do you have it unloading? That's right, the metal. You do? Well, listen. Listen, do you have a lot of it? Can I supersize it? Well, will you hang on to it for me? You won't. Hank Green. Yeah, that's right. All right, I'll, I'll be there in about an hour. I'll have your glasses ready, too. Well, I gotta buy a window fan and do my tabs, then I should swing by and do that other thing and pick up the life-saving sodium, maybe, before they close. Uh, yeah, I gotta bring that one guy that thing, too. How'd you get up there? I think he's lost. Ah, the ancient sodium empire exhibit at the Met. He's in luck. Hey, where's the Wonder Bra ad? And down to Greenwich Village for no reason. Very lost. <laughs> How many more will die if I do a little sightseeing? Four or five at most, right? Is New York closed for the day? Wipe out. <laughs> I fooled them all. I also run a chemical supply warehouse. <laughs> well, I'd like to help, but I've had this dentist appointment for six months. Oh, afternoon, Dr. Gatlin. So you coming, so I brought you some coffee. Oh, good, thank you. Any sodium with that? Any luck with your water testing, Dr. Gatlin? Absolutely no luck. I must have tested at least 10 places and didn't find a thing. Well, Mr. Hank found that chemical, what you call it. Oh, good. And he's gone off to New York to get it, but he won't get back before dark. And Elaine? Where's Elaine? Well, Dad. she's gone off too, Dr. Gavin. I think she mentioned Fingal's Quarry. Fingal's Quarry? Yes, sir. Take it back. Good God, why didn't I think of that before? That's the deepest body of water around here, and it's right where those three girls were killed. And though it was the most obvious place, we haven't yet checked it. When Hank gets here, tell him I've gone to Fingal's Quarry. Yes, sir. And call the police and tell them to meet me there. Yes, sir. And the Walrus lunch counter, not that great. Don't bother. Okay, where are my galoshes? Galoshes, galoshes. Ooh. Catch me some lightning bugs while I'm out there. Recessa Annie drives to her next demonstration. Pringles Quarry. Ah, mm -hmm. oh, there's Stingles Pulley. Pringles Folly. Uh, Stinkles Pinkhole. Ringo's Fiddle. Hinkle's Stinkwad. Or... Gingles Mud Fiddle. Seward's Folly. Finnegan's Rainbow. Studs Lonigan. No. Okay. Might be a little <laughs> far removed. So I'm just going to imagine the music that would have added a lot to the scene. Yeah. So to get the sodium, I have to take their old oil first? He may be getting too much sodium. <laughs> Still time to get to my match with the chick. Bigfoot. Big purse. She's wearing her Eddie Bauer rugged hiking skirt, fully lined. 
does look quite fingal around here. Okay, Lake, you can disrobe and hop up on the table now. I'm meeting the lady of the lake for brunch. Yeah, visited the UN, had a nice lunch with Ooh Tant. Calling car 28. Pick up Hank Green. He is coming east on Route 104 in Gray MG and proceed to Finkel's Quarry. Over. Will do immediately. <laughs> Okay, could you have one of your walleyes fill this for me, please? Oh no, 0.4 mistress per hour! Oh, bass down there needs Beano real bad. Oh, Eurasian milfoil! Well, I better mosey on out of here. Kind of scream too soon, I guess. What's his best feature? Mm. Probably none. That's a bazooki music. <laughs> Are you angry? That's right. Just follow me. Why should I, pig? All right, sodium, clear the roads. We got sodium. Well, I'm not gonna get away from here tonight. I better establish base camp here. I'm falling, I'm falling again, and again, and again, and again. Oh my gosh, I've placed my leg against a rock. <laughs> The British royal family. Oh, no. <laughs> I could carve a better man out of a banana. Mommy, mommy, where are our towels? We're getting cold. Uh-oh, she has her foot caught in the rock. <laughs> How did she mutilate herself so bad? You got a little mouse down there jabbing at her with a toothpick? <laughs> uh, now, you're sure you can't see my head kind of protruding from no, my no, neck? No, 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 you'll be fine. Well, all right. <laughs> the catch and release program backfired horribly. Damn, the monsters are tailing me. The ice cream ice truck! Cream. Ice, cream. Ice, cream. Ice, cream. ice cream! Oh, I could have lifted it out of there the whole time. I wonder why I stayed here so long. Gettysburg. The sea... Oh, wait. Fingal's quarry. Sorry. Oh, great. And I've got that ass-kicking contest today, too. The sun burned out between frames. <laughs> you know, she's not a woman. She's differently sexed. What are we looking at, and why are we looking at it? <laughs> Turns out I had some sodium in my sock drawer. <laughs> Oh, hang on, gotta get the phone. We could have used Hormel chili or some Dinty more. There's a lot of sodium in that. <laughs> cookie, me want cookie. Hey, 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 you spill my drink, buddy? Huh? <laughs> uh, meanwhile, later yesterday afternoon, uh, I guess. Where the hell are we? 
Dad, I want to go to Vassar. No. <laughs> what? <laughs> well, they must have gone the speed of light because they can see themselves arriving. <laughs> Quick set of doubles, anyone? Oh no, we got driveway blacktop by mistake. A herd of salamanders. Bosco puts hustle in your muscle. Bosco puts we in your knee. Also puts a dash in your eyelash. My dad's getting killed. Hey, did you get to MoMA? No, they must have tried those last couple places in the phone book. And then they drove to New York retreat. Damn you, you LaBelle. You made them do it. Dad's being smothered by a huge loaf of pepperoni studded brown bread. <laughs> you brought beer. <laughs> Sit down, Gomer. Yeah, pass that down, will you? Get your sodium! <laughs> oh, the itching, the horrible burning. Oh, just at that moment, a geyser goes off. Wait, I come in peace. I am the good... No, oh, wait a minute, I... Ow. God, this is fun. Give me another one of those. My Richard Pryor impression. Guest appearance by Commissioner Gordon. In a fever of killing, they throw sodium at some passing Girl Scouts. <laughs> What's that cop doing? Get out of here. Go on, just get out of here. I'm dying. Say, uh, I got the receipt for the sodium. Could you pay me back now? And we could split it five ways. Of course, I spent money on gas, too, didn't I? Now they got Kyuto monks. Great. Sorry. And oh, how they danced, the little children of Stonehenge. Well, at least they got compost to last a few years anyway. The Battle of Tinker's Belly. <laughs> Where's Shelby Foot when you need him? Um. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what? Oh. <laughs> mm -hmm. Ooh. Wow. Nasty. Oh, oh, sorry, oh, oh, okay. Oh. All right, okay. Thank you. Oh, no. Well, 914 Long Street, this is the place. You never paid me for the sodium. Take it right out of there. <laughs> we interrupt to bring you this. <laughs> Hello, you LaBelle. Just arrived on the riverboat. Say, is uh, Miss Elaine receiving today? I think she's asleep. Uh, let's check. All right. Any news from the Northern Wall of Aggression, you LaBelle? She's dressed like Colonel Sanders. We interrupt this program of burning melodies to bring Shh. you a special bulletin. She's dead. Late last night, our police force, with the assistance of Dr. Richard Gavin... Just jump right in with her. Of the monsters from the oh, look, he's nude already. <laughs> that the invasion of the How are you, my darling? I'm back from Bull we Run. We you now to morning melody. Hank. Hello, darling. How's the leg? Oh, it's much better. I just saw your father, and he's been burned badly, but he'll be fine. <laughs> and he'll be back from the hospital within <laughs> a week. <laughs> oh, thank what? God. Oh, sure. Just make yourself at home. Huh? As far as you're concerned, I'm wearing a female condom, pants, several Kevlar undergarments, tiny pit bulls, and motion detectors. Go ahead. I'm engaged to the Dell heirs now. The Eric Roberts voodoo doll. What good is a man? What good is a man? We're out 
The music's coming from inside the radio. And I'm looking in my If I don't have you. Well, you don't have me, okay? Bel Airs later successfully broke up and went to junior college. Got off their shift at racks. <laughs> it's not here. Oh, wait, there was a Tina in this movie? Let's watch it again. I love Tina's. What good would the star? We were out of hello. We were out of hello? Well, they stole this music from black people. Uh, black people were gonna throw it away anyway. <laughs> Buddy Holly will sue. <laughs> guy in the middle better finish quickly. He has a beating to get to. Don't do that. Ah, no. Yeah, we'll end more. It's not ending enough. Hey everyone, you know Tom and Crow and I were talking about how the kids today don't know squat about sodium. Yeah, I couldn't have put it better myself, oh. Mike. Why the shocking lack of sodium taught the schools today is shocking. That's right, Crow. So we asked ourselves, how, how do we reach yeah. kids today about sodium? How, how, Through the how? rock and roll music that the kids seem to like. Yeah. Hit it! Sodium! Sodium! Sodium. Well, if you don't know anything about sodium now, I don't know what else we can do for you. Yeah, you kids with your big pants and your colored <laughs> chuck and your Nev Campbell and sodium. your fanny packs Won't you? and your Nerf balls. Well, we better see what's going no on with Pearl in them, huh? Your right. Pong and your Volkswagen golf leases and your notebooks and the kids with the pierced, I don't know what, the roller skates and the 23 skidoos and the listening to the pecs. And mm. Mm. <laughs> now that was a glorious feast. Uh, <laughs> Satiated brain gaius? Oh, yes, indeed. Well, then, puke. Oh, no, thank you. I'm really quite full. No, I mean to the vomitorium, shall oh, we? Of course. <laughs> you son of a god. <laughs> be right back. Uh, I'll be right back. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> you are women. <laughs> you know, I think I'm really going to like it here. Say, be a dear and have one of your fellow servants bring up more lamb. Sure. You know, I find it so refreshing that a woman your age can still get blemishes. It's cute. Your plainness must afford you a peaceful anonymity. <laughs> You're lucky. Tell me, is that pile of straw in your head easier to care for than real hair? <laughs> <laughs> you. You are so brave to wear that, even with all those black goat hairs sticking out out of all the moles of your back. <laughs> Tell me, is your husband so pale because you suck the lifeblood out of him? He's not my husband. Oh, then you're barren. No, just selective. Must be fun to be a slut, though. <laughs> not nearly as much fun as being a boozed up old hag. That tears it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean to think. I know you're gonna wine bottle. <laughs> Silly. <laughs> Skank. Skag. Oh, Flavia! <laughs> Flavia, the gods have deigned to stay with us indefinitely. Isn't it wonderful? <laughs> 